Um, so just any updates on the competition ahead of first game? Do you need any starters? Uh, no, that's a, uh, that's a good question. We feel really good about multiple guys. Um, they're both at that, that center position and that right tackle position. We feel like we got really truthfully three guys in each of those positions that could go out and we could win a lot of games with. So I'm um, excited to see how it continues to, to play out. And, and I know the guys we tried out there on Saturday are going to do a really, really good job. Uh, and I have full confidence in even the guys be behind them. So I'm excited to see how the group plays. What's impressed you about Dominic Eadie? So he obviously came over from the defensive line. What, what stood out about him, etc.? Um, yeah, I mean, he's done, he's done a great job. Uh, obviously, not having an extensive you know, O line background. I mean, we really recruited him as technically like an edge. Um, so he's taken to the you know, offense line in general really, really quickly. Um, and then uh, to center as well. Obviously, that's position is very much mental. Um, you know, you're, you're the quarterback of the O line. Um, and you're, besides the quarterback, you're the only other person on the field who touches the ball every single play. So it's, it's as critical a position there is in football. So he's done a really, really good job you know, putting himself in the mix there. And like I said, he's one of those three guys at center we feel like we go out and, and uh, you know, win another national championship with. What, what about Evan? Since Evan's kind of come into that place where he's in that competition, what has he shown you? And why, why has he been able to make that jump? Sure, he's made big you know, jumps, um, not just mentally and, and you know, playbook-wise uh, and, and play-wise, but physically um, from being a, you know, being a freshman. And um, you know, sometimes it's, it's easy to forget how big the jump that those guys can make from their freshman year to sophomore year can be, you know, as an, especially an offensive lineman. So physically, he's in a really, really good spot. And then um, you know, he's embraced the challenge of competing against you know, two older guys who are both very, very good players in their own right. So again, we feel like we're fortunate. Um, it's good problems to have. You know, we always joke like it's a uh, rich people problems that we feel like we can go out there and have three tackles. Just like we think we feel like we have three centers. So um, excited to see how those guys perform. Um, Grant, you mentioned you know how mental the playing center is. How quickly did you identify that Dom would be a good a good fit there, and why? Yeah, I mean he's 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 a very very he's a very very intelligent person, um, and um, he took to it very quickly, especially um, you know not having a background in you know, a ton of offense line play and a ton of center play, and uh, I, I would imagine you know, his defensive background probably helped him some in that. Maybe it gave him a little different perspective. Um, but no, it, uh, the thing we, we worked him a lot there in the spring, and I think you guys saw in the spring game where he played pretty much exclusively center. Um, so it wasn't just like a, hey, the last two weeks he's playing some center. You know, he's he's been doing it since December. Um, but he's he's taking a, a good jump. And from your perspective, what have been the challenges of blocking Jay Sean Barham in practice, and how could that carry over maybe when he's facing a different team? I'm excited to see him rush somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, 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 he's unbelievable. He's unbelievable. He's he's. Um, I can confidently say he's probably the most physically gifted second level player we've had here in my time. Um, uh, probably the closest was Devin, but he's bigger than Devin by you know, a good bit. Um, and I don't want to like overstate it, but he's really, really good. He's, he's unbelievable, um, which has been an awesome challenge for our guys. And it's something that um, uh, I had a kind of funny conversation when the first time Josh squared up on him. Um, and uh, yeah, it was, it was a, it's a challenge every single day, just like it is with Mason, KG, uh, Stu, uh, D. Moore, like all those guys. But like, it, truthfully, it's a blessing for us on offense because we, we face guys who, and we may see a guy who's as good as that, maybe, across the country, um, but we won't see one who's better. I, mean, I, I would stand on the table right now and say that there's not a better uh, linebacker in the country now than that guy. Uh, that's, not a, that's not an insult to any of those guys who have come before here, um, the juniors, the Devons, et cetera, et cetera, the Mike Bees, uh, but he, he's a specimen. So I, I'm excited to see him fly around and, and uh, make plays on Saturday.